Good day guys, Bing here. Uh, today let's talk about filter. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's create a project. And I'm just going to draw, uh, quickly draw some wall, uh, maybe a different wall. Okay. Uh, okay, so maybe also different wall. And maybe some door and some windows maybe okay so now this is a very complicated model okay so okay so now let's have a look of the field so go to view and on view there's a list filters okay so field we have two different type types of filter so one is rule based filter the other the other one is selection filter so first let's have a look of rule based filter so so you will see this one here already but there's no uh, looks like this there are some categories already checked but let's just ignore this uh, let's just I'll just maybe delete this one I'll create a new one okay new rule based filter so create new um, I'll just call it field one that's okay and the first thing you need to do is need to pick a category or uh, different categories so here what I'm going to do is um, we think maybe I'll just pick the ball so and then we need to use the rule so for example um, um, I'm going to use let's add rule okay oh sorry here so wall so if you click here so let me just delete this one for now so if you click this uh, drop down menu you will see all these parameters okay so what I'm going to do is um, for example I'll use um, what am I going to use how about uh, maybe length how about length okay and I'll use um, greater than okay or greater than or equal to maybe I'll, I'll use let's say three meter okay three meter so what this rule mean is any wall longer the length of the wall longer than three meters will be selected okay so oh actually sorry it's not selected but will be uh, add into this filter so and then later we can apply um, so for example uh, uh, um, the graphic override to it so let's click OK so now looks like nothing happens right so what we need to do is for because we need to change the graphic settings so go VV so visibility graphic graphic override so which is under I think it's under um, here here V VG or VV okay and then here you will find these filters so now you can what you can do is you can add that filter which is this one so if you add okay and here you can just so for example you can hide if you click this one which means all the more longer oh sorry uh, yeah, longer than three meters will be hidden so apply you will see most of the walls three meters uh, longer than three meters so okay so check this apply coming back and also so for example you can also do uh, uh, surface pattern so um, my which one this one uh, yeah so click here so you can just so for example I'll just make it uh, so uh, maybe red red solid okay so okay apply so you will see all the wall so and if I click okay and if I draw and so model another wall so if, if I'm it's a, a short wall 
it will be fine it will, will not be override but if I draw a wall longer than 3 meters it will be this okay you can also um, let's try if uh, let's go back to filter so so this one's uh, greater than 3 and maybe we can do this okay we can do uh, if it's less than 3 meter okay and let's add another one so if I, I'll just duplicate this one and filter 2 will be let's call it a filter 2 and what I want to do is I want to uh, filter all the walls between so and I'll use add, add oh, sorry um, hang on so it will be greater than 3 and so it should be and greater than 3 and length also length uh, less than 6 meter okay so this will be the second filter so then I'm going to duplicate this one I'll create another uh, filter 3 which is um, now get rid of this and then it's greater than 6 meter so if it's longer than 6 it will be it, the wall will go into filter 3 so if I click OK and now VV so go filter so for example this filter 1 will be red and uh, maybe let's change the color maybe uh, how about uh, green how about green and okay so add another one so filter 2 filter 2 will be um, um, what color between red and green maybe orange okay uh, this is not orange let's try this one okay this is filter 2 add another filter 3 and so this one will be um, a red okay so that's too long <laughs> okay so now we have three color so I click OK now you will see all the green wall will be uh, less than three meter okay and the orange wall will be between three to six and when uh, the wall is longer than six meter it will be uh, red so this is a very simple example you can use any parameters so you can um, so for example you can uh, you can use this for uh, maybe fire rating or so so it will show all the fire wall as red something like that okay so it's all up to you so this is filter and uh, it's rule based filter okay so now let's have a look of the other filter so if I go back to the filter again so there is another filter so that's the selection filter so now let me show you how to use selection filter so now let me just un, 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 um, apply all these I'll just delete remove 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 now all the wall will go back to normal so and then what I'm going to do is so you just select so for example um, I want maybe this building I want this to be do oh sorry I want this building and maybe uh, maybe this building to be to be red in this view so actually to be red in any view in all the elevations uh, of floor plans so what I am going to do is select these two parts of the building and here so you here selection you can save this so I'll click save and so I'll name it uh, maybe uh, to be red okay and click OK now so if you go to view and filters you will find this uh, selection and then you will be able to so just go back and VV if you type VV so filter you can add that selection and then you can do whatever you like so for example I'll change this to red and OK and OK 
and OK, and OK. So now it will show red in this view. And of course, if you go to elevations, so um, you can apply the VB, apply that field again, and use the color red, for example. OK, so now this is it. So you don't need to figure out, uh, you don't need to um, try to find out uh, where the building is and use a uh, override, use right click. Oops, oops, my my mouse is not working. Um, yeah, you don't need to do this, so it will automatically uh, change the color in this view. You just need to apply that view type. And also, uh, when you have a lot of uh, so for example, uh, multiple views, and you can always use a uh, view template. So for example, uh, you can use, you can go here, go graphical display option, so save as view template. But you don't need to save everything, you can just, so, um, so for example, I'll just create a template, I'll call it filter. And OK. So I'm in this field, in, oh sorry, in this template. So I'm going to check, uncheck everything, uncheck everything except the filter. Um, where is it? Here. So VG, all right, filter. So uncheck the filter and uncheck everything. So if you click OK and OK, so now you can just select all these views. And uh, let me think, you can go to um, here, so view templates, click on the drop down menu, you can just apply, apply, apply template properties to current view. So I'll just, hang on, I'll just go to north, north elevation. So, and if I click this, apply, and oh, I'll help. Uh, I think that's, uh, is this how to do it? Yes, but I don't want to, oh uh, yeah, it's it's not, it's not locked, it's not locked uh, to this uh, template, but just apply that template because that, we only have that filter um, checked, so that's, that's all good. Just go, so for example, these two are not, uh, haven't uh, applied the filter yet, so you just need to select. So, for example, you can select everything here. Okay, so go and apply the filter to it. So, click OK. And now, if you go to all the views, uh, you're not, oh, sorry, you're not seeing the color because, because uh, we only apply the surface. Um, surface pattern to the wall, not the cut pattern. Okay, so what we need, so so we'll see it's all red, all red, except the floor plan, because for the cut pattern, it's a uh, it's different thing. So we need to go to, uh, let's have a look at template, which is manage template, go to the, um, sorry, go to filter, click on edit, we just need to Put a add add a color to the to the fill pattern. Okay, so they are different. So if I click OK, so we just need to select. So when I select these two, and I'll just apply the uh, what's going on here. We can't find that filter again. Uh, maybe let's or yeah. So filter. And OK, so now you will see this is a cut pattern. Uh, level 1, same, apply, or find this filter, and OK. So that's it. OK, so this is it. Um, two different types, so I'm just remove this, we'll go back. OK. And also, uh, also if you want to add things, so you can always. So what you can do is you can go to filter, 
and select this one and you can edit um, where is it uh, where is it you can't edit anyway that's another way to do it so select two item so once you select so if you select one there's no selection menu here so you just need to select multiple items and then here you will have this option you just need to click edit and then select this and click on edit so now you have this option it's just like it's like the group menu or assembly menu so you can add or remove so for example I can remove remove this wall I can add uh, this wall this wall this wall and finish and okay so now if I go to ground floor you will see these wall are red as well if I go to elevation I can't really tell <laughs> from this this view but um, yeah you know what I'm talking right um, that's it that's filter um, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time okay bye